On IM-1, we traveled over a million kilometers through space, and we landed within two and a half kilometers of our landing site. On this mission, we're gonna try to travel a million kilometers through space and land within 50 meters. If you slip to one side or you slip to the other, the terrain's more rugged. So precision is our only option. Temperatures in space are pretty extreme. They go from minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really the ultimate proving ground for materials. The thing I hate about spacecraft is you've got some parts that want to stay warm and some parts that want to stay cold, and they're never besides each other and you never can share the heat. The helium tanks want to stay warm. They want to stay energetic, so we have good pressure on the helium. And that pressure from the helium is what we use to push the methane and the oxygen from the tanks into the engine. So we're going to coat the helium tanks with these multi-layer insulation blankets to try to do passive insulation to manage that problem. We found that the OmniHeat material was very, very good for that. What looks like a simple layer of foil is actually the outermost part of a highly engineered thermal protection system. We designed individual MLI blankets for specific thermal management needs for each component on the spacecraft. With IM2, Sun Deflector regulates that thermal environment uh, so that we are more capable of staying in an orientation that is optimized for communications and data back to Earth. IM2 is incredibly complex. It is an ice hunting mission on the south pole of the moon. Man, it's gonna be so exciting. Addie is totally tricked out. She's got a drill, she's got a rover, and coolest of all, she's got a rocket-powered drone. That's a small lander that launches off a rail system that's rocket-propelled that then hops along the surface, and then we'll take that hopper and fly right into a permanently shadowed crater and look for water ice on the bottom of the crater. What's really interesting about Intuitive Machines is we were given a task to do something that's never been done before. And so what we've done is built a community of suppliers, of partners, that have been through this experience at least once. And as we continue looking at Mission 2, Mission 3, and subsequent, working together, we work as one team. In the past, everything had been in a silo. And then you realize that other industries have so much to offer and you break down those barriers and you start seeing a fusion across technology that can accelerate space exploration. That's what's exciting where you're looking at the front of our lander, it looks just like my jacket. Well, that's because I have the most efficient jacket on the planet because we're working together and we're using all the resources across industries to really move faster. Whenever people try to do things that are very hard technically, you push the envelope in terms of what's possible. Those limits, the ones we think are holding us back, actually reveal what we're truly capable of. Every challenge we overcome doesn't just solve a problem, it expands what's possible for the future.